مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students of grade 9, I welcome you once again. Today, inshallah, we are going to talk about module 7c, reading, page 78. Our objectives today are, number one, to skim a text quickly to answer pre-reading questions correctly. Number two, to scan a text carefully to answer six multiple choice questions correctly. This is the page we are going to discuss today. And here are some vocabularies. We have newsreader, sequence, unexpected, achieve, exhausted, scenes, countryside, complicate, and stress. Let's watch the video and see what is it about. When I was young, my imagination was without borders. I was dreaming of changing the world. And by time, when I became older and wiser, I discovered that the world never changes. So I decreased my ambitions and I decided to change my country. But over time, I found that my country cannot be easily changed. And when I became old, I tried to change my family and the people closer to me, but also failed. And today, I'm on my deathbed. I realized suddenly that I should change myself, then my family, then my country, and who knows, maybe the whole world. So, dear students, the message from this video was, if you want to change something in life, start by changing yourself. Now, let's have further discussion of the vocabulary. This is a picture of newsreader. It means a person who reads the news for the TV. Next, we have pause. It means a temporary stop or rest. Achieve. It means to bring to a successful end. Gossip. It means idle talk or rumor, especially about the personal or private affairs of others. Issue. It means a point at which a matter is ready for decision. Unexpected, it means not expected or happens suddenly. Now let's fill in the gaps. We have the words both unexpected, gossip, issue, and achieve. Number one, they spend more time on than on work. The answer will be on gossip. Number two, Jim thought Steve had finished speaking, but it was only a pause. Number three, the ownership of the land is the main issue. Number four, Amy's only thought in high school is to achieve success. Finally, there was an unexpected error I couldn't finish my work. Now let's move to page 78. Exercise B. 
Look at the picture. What do you think happened? Read the text quickly and find out. 7C. 1. Read. What happened to George Baines? We all remember the newsreader George Baines. Last year, millions of people were watching the news on Channel 8. The title sequence ended and there was Baines. He looked into the camera ready to speak, paused, and looked down at the desk. Then he did something unexpected. He said, I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. He then stood up and left the studio. He quit his job and his career in television. But what led him to this major decision? It seemed like Baines had the perfect life. He had achieved the success he'd always wanted and had a loving family. However, behind the scenes, he was unhappy. At that time, he was working 13 hours a day, sometimes more. He hardly ever had time to spend with his family, and whenever he did, he was exhausted. His lifestyle was also affecting his health. His doctor had told him to work fewer hours, but he was unable to do so. In addition, he was constantly arguing with the producer because of the quality of the news bulletins. It was all gossip and celebrities and had very few stories about the real issues in the world. He strongly disapproved of this, and that night, it all seemed too much to cope with. A year later, Baines is living a less complicated life in the countryside. He has just published his first book, The Best Time Is Now, and also writes a blog. He gives advice to people who live stressful lives and shows them how to change their lifestyle in a few steps. Baines told us, I want people to believe that anything is possible. I turned my life around, and it's been the most important decision I've ever made. Baines spends a lot of time with his children, and he also grows his own vegetables. He isn't as stressed as he used to be, and he is healthier and more energetic than ever. Many people ask Baines why he chose to quit on air. Baines explains, When you realize you need to make a change in your life, you shouldn't keep putting it off. The best time to do it is now. So now the questions once again. What do you think happened? The answer is George Baines quit his job in television and changed his lifestyle. Now let's move to the questions. Read the questions and choose A, B, or C. Number one. Why does the writer expect everybody to know who George Baines is? A. He often did unexpected things on live TV. B. He was the country's most famous newsreader. C. He made an announcement on live TV that surprised everyone. The answer is C. Number two, what is true about Bain's life before he quit his job? A. He was feeling dissatisfied with his life. B. He was unhappy for medical reasons. C. His home was the only place where he felt relaxed and happy. The answer is A. He was feeling dissatisfied with his life. Number three. What did Baines believe about the news bulletins? A. They weren't serious enough. B. They weren't what the public wanted. C. The public wasn't interested enough in them. The answer is A. They weren't serious enough. 4. What is not true about Baines a year after he quit? A. He misses his old life. B. He has become a writer. C. He has more spare time. The answer is A. He misses his old life. Number five. What advice does Baines give? A. Think hard before you make any decisions. B. When you have made up your mind, don't delay. C. Talk to lots of people before you make a decision. The answer is B. When you have made up your mind, don't delay. Question 6. What does the writer imply about George? His doctor and his family saved his life. He is happier now than he was a year ago. His dream has always been to write a book. 
The answer is B. He is happier now than he was a year ago. And by this, dear students, we have come to the end of our session. Until we meet next time, I say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.